Central Park has been immortalized in countless Hollywood movies. It's where Kevin McAllister fled from the wet bandits, where Harry began to fall in love with Sally, and where Santa needed a little help from Buddy the Elf. It's no wonder this park is at the top of every tourist bucket list when they visit New York City. But does Central Park really live up to the hype? We're a family of New York City locals, and we're gonna take you to Central Park with us so you can experience what it's really like. Good morning and welcome to Central Park. We actually just came in the 72nd Street entrance on the east side, and we are going to start our little adventure today by visiting one of the most popular parts of the park before it gets too crowded. All right, it's a beautiful day, but a little <laughs> chilly. Maybe just it's very cold, sunny. Cold, cold, cold. She could tell I was cold. It's gonna warm up, guys. So one thing about us is that because we live in Brooklyn, we probably spend way more time in Prospect Park than Central Park. I gotta be honest, like to me, Central Park is kind of like for tourists. Like, yes, it's beautiful. Yes, it's an iconic part of the city. But when it comes to like actually hanging out, um, I feel like I've spent more time in just about every other park in the city versus Central Park. So I don't even know this place that well. I am very much relying on Google Maps to make sure that we don't get lost because it is very easy to get lost here. Um, so hopefully we're heading in the right direction. We'll see. Having been born and raised in New York City, yes. how often do you come to Central Park? <laughs> As a kid or? As a kid, I guess. Hardly ever. I mean, it's kind of far, you know, from where I grew up. So I grew up on the Lower East Side, so you are probably come here for a field trip or something like that, but you don't really come here often. Girls, do you smell that? Sounds like horse mommy. I'm allergic to horses. So a few days ago, we actually posted on Instagram stories asking what you all would like to see us do here in Central Park. And one of the top things that many of you mentioned was for us to do a horse carriage ride. Sorry to disappoint you, but we are not gonna be doing that. And the reason is that the ethics of how the horses are treated is pretty iffy. There have definitely been some really high profile stories over the last few years of horses collapsing. You know, I think most locals feel like they're probably not treated the best. So unfortunately, we are not gonna do the horse carriage ride. If you do wanna do it, I would say like read some articles first and decide if it's something that you should be supporting. Once we got to this park, we definitely smelled the horses. So I'm sure all the carriages are really close to here. Okay, so this is Bethesda Terrace and it is a very popular spot for wedding pictures. As you can see, you're bound to see quite a lot of brides and grooms here. So Emily is our friend and photographer. She's gonna be hanging out with us for a little bit today while we get some photos. Those cardigans are coming off. No. <laughs> You're funny Look, though. It's not even that cold. <laughs> My name is Manny, the famous bubble man. Oh, Manny, hey, nice to doing? meet you. Are you all, always in the spot? Always here. All right. Here. You Very can cool. Google me as well. Google Manny, the famous bubble man, sent you Park. I'll pop right up. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, are you okay, Emily? <laughs> Emily was in the line of fire there. <laughs> family gets a high yes. five. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. This is so Even fun. Emily. Emily. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So look at this cool picture Emily did a while ago. So this was a little bit of real life and a little bit of Photoshop. Yes, yeah, you know. <laughs> so cool, though. A very cold ab workout. <laughs> oh, wow. My friend does like surrealist photos. Yeah. And so he was like, yeah, wear something, you know, pastel-y, bubbly. Oh man, March is like really cold here. <laughs> yeah, but it worked out. It's like the coolest photo. Ever. It is. <laughs> okay, so we are at Bow Bridge and this is definitely one of the most beautiful spots in Central Park. And not surprisingly, it's a super popular photo spot. Um, you're always gonna find families taking pictures, engagement shoots, wedding shoots here. And it's such a pretty place. You know, the bridge itself is so gorgeous. It's on the pond. You've got the skyline kind of peeking out through the trees. 
So definitely this is a place that you should stop on your Central Park day. Oh, look at the ducks. Look at all the turtles. Oh wow, oh, it's like a whole procession. No, look at the little ducks. Aww. As we were walking over to the next spot on our list, something very unexpected happened. So we're walking by and we just seen a couple, they just proposed to each other. Which is, well, the guy proposed to the girl. And uh, yeah, it's like, you don't really see that much. You know? And it looked very casual, like they were just yeah. sitting on a bench, like yeah, they were like, just taking a rest. Yeah, it was amazing. So yeah. Emily went over to see if... Uh, they want a few fresh yeah, photos because so em like, Emily actually like her main thing is engagements and elopement photos. So, I know, so it was like perfect timing. So she walked over and said, do you want a couple pictures? Yeah. So, yeah, it was amazing. It turns out that this couple, Mateus and Bruna, were visiting New York all the way from Brazil. It was just a happy coincidence that Mateus popped the question at the exact moment that Emily, a professional engagement and wedding photographer by trade, happened to be walking by. So she gladly snapped these photos of them for free. Afterwards, Mateus' mother sent Emily this heartfelt DM. We're sharing her message and the couple's engagement photos with their permission. And this is what I love about living in New York. Yes, it's a fast-paced concrete jungle where people aren't always super warm and friendly, but there are also so many opportunities for chance encounters like this, for moments of real human connection. So another thing that a lot of you mentioned on Instagram that you wanted to see us doing was to rent a rowboat. I have more bad news for you all. The boathouse where the boat rentals happen, hi Ella, um, is actually under construction right now. It's, it's being renovated. It's kind of closed until further notice. Um, some sources say it's going to open this summer, but the official website doesn't really give an exact date. So normally all the boats would be docked out here. But there's no boats because the boathouse is closed. Since we shot this video, there have been some positive developments. The boathouse has partially reopened and rowboats are available to rent as of June 17th. The restaurant remains closed, but Express Cafe, a casual counter service outlet, has opened in the meantime. However, it's getting some pretty terrible reviews, so be warned. What, what's happening here? Oh, we're just living life on the edge. Oh, sure. We're walking backwards? Uh huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Really burning those calories. <laughs> Some backwards lunges. All right, next up, we're gonna do another much requested activity, which is playing with the model sailboats. Um, I don't know if we've ever done this before. Sean says we have, yeah, maybe when she was like really little. Um, I don't think Ella's done it. That might've been pre-Ella days. Um, Ella, don't upset her. Ella doesn't like to talk about the pre-Ella days. She's jealous that I had mommy for three and a half years without her. By the way, they are not need twins. To talk about that. In yeah. case you didn't know. I'm almost four years older than her. So. I'm 14. It's okay, we're making no, 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 it no. up to you now. I'm 14, she's 10. And I'm the favorite. Four, as of, and I'm 24. As of filming this, I'm 14, <laughs> I'm 24. 14, 10. We're not twins. I'm 24. <laughs> no, you're not. You're 45. <laughs> old. She's an old guy. Okay, well, I'm not seeing any model sailboats. This is not a good sign. Uh, do we think this is closed too? I'm not seeing a single boat out here. The heck? All right, let's walk over to the little building, see what's going on. Okay, so I just spoke to uh, the host at Le Pan Quotidien here, which is like a little restaurant overlooking this pond. Apparently the model sailboat company is out of business. So it hasn't happened for a while. It's not available anymore. Um, yeah, I guess if you learn anything from this video, it's that even though the city feels like it's back to normal, there's still a lot of things, a lot of damage that happened during the pandemic that the city is still feeling the effects of, and clearly that is one of them. All right, so we just used the bathroom. A couple of the stalls are okay, but one was... It had poop on the seat, and she... Graffiti. Graffiti. <laughs> and Not <had> geography. <laughs> For some reason, Ella can't remember that word today. <laughs> Come back. Your neck so long. That's how we're built, Ella. Serge is like, is this new? It's brand new. 
the Alice in Wonderland statue. Might as well snap a couple photos while we're here. Okay, we're getting to another iconic part of Central Park, which is the view of this beautiful Belvedere Castle. And we're gonna stop here for a couple of pictures because come on guys, look at this view. <laughs> Gorgeous. Emily knows all the best spots. <laughs> okay, so the girls are getting ready to do some cartwheels, but for some reason they feel they have to do this oh stuff. <laughs> Intensive stretching for her. <laughs> Hello, what is this move? <laughs> All right, so you're ready. Okay, guys, Ella's exercise tape will be out uh, soon, so just keep an eye out. All right. <clears throat> Woo! Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Woo! Pull the hammy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. USA. You're gonna join the Olympics? America. And do cartwheels? <laughs> yeah, yes. I got these in Japan. Yes, Sean wants to show her toe socks. Oh my god. Oh my god. She my took shoe. your shoe. My bubble shoe. Oh well, now, Ella. Oh my god. Give me a heart attack. So a few of you mentioned that you wanted to see us eat at Tavern on the Green, which if you're not familiar with, it's kind of one of those really iconic restaurants, which is inside Central Park itself. Um, we're not gonna do that today. <laughs> and the reason is it's honestly kind of a tourist trap. Like it's known for not having particularly good food. Um, it's pretty like old school and tacky in there. I would say if you really wanted to eat inside the park, um, if or when the Boathouse restaurant reopens, I would say go there instead. The food I don't think is particularly like remarkable either, but at least you have that beautiful view over the pond and it's just really nice, especially if you're sitting outside. So no bougie food for us today. Instead, we made a beeline for another New York icon, the hot dog cart. We're stopping for a little snack. So what are you getting? Dirty, get dirty water hot dog? Okay, well, and I was gonna get a clean water hot dog. Okay. That's the dog we played with. And the red, white, and blue icy. Okay. Thank you. So, full apologies to our Chicago viewers of all the ketchup <laughs> on Sean's hot dog. But, uh, it's not unacceptable in New York. That's kind of how we eat them here. <laughs> so we got this cheese pretzel, which I've never really seen before. Where's the cheese? Inside. Oh, it's like, oh, it looks very different from the photo, which is like that. Let's see what it looks like when you break it, too. Oh, there's oh. the cheese. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, we're going to share it. Okay, oh, it, it looks more appetizing in the photo, but... <laughs> Yeah, I've had a plenty of uh, had plenty of pretzels, just never had a cheese pretzel for my part. It's weird. It is weird. Yeah, it's, it's like, like gray, whole wheat, right? Mm, but like, it's also like whole whole strangely wheat. soggy. Yeah, <laughs> but like also really right hard there. in other spots. Dissing the so. dissing the pretzel right in front of where you bought it. I mean, oh, you're right. <laughs> you didn't make it from scratch, you know. Get the regular pretzel. What if you pounded it into the pretzel? Yeah, like mm. yeah, I do not recommend. Mm. No. Nope. My hot dog is good. <laughs> Stick with the hot dog. Also, if you're looking for more of a gourmet meal um, near Central Park, uh, there aren't any options inside Central Park other than Taft Around the Green right now. Um, but if you're looking more for kind of like a fine dining experience near the park, I would say either go to Time Warner Center, where there are tons of really amazing restaurants, um, or another really good choice is the Mark, which is inside the Mark Hotel. That is also really well regarded. It's just like a block off the park. Uh, so if you're looking for, you know, a nice little bougie meal to cap off your day in Central Park, I would say those two are really good options. I would probably avoid Tavern on the Green itself though. Then something interesting happened. 
I'm about to roll the clip, but it all happens really quickly, so let me first explain what you're about to watch. We were walking by a few horse-drawn carriages, and one of the horses looked particularly sad and tired. Sean said softly to Ella, Poor horsey. She said it so quietly that we didn't even think anyone outside of our group could hear it. But the horse's driver obviously heard and started berating Sean, saying, Why would you say poor horsey? And then going on a long spiel about how well her horse was taken care of. Why would you say poor horsey? Our horse has Someone's a little sensitive. Okay, I literally wasn't even being that loud. So guys, if you want an alternative, um, you could do one of these, like these little pedicabs. So it's $3.99 per minute per ride, and uh, you don't have to worry about any animal cruelty. I feel like the fact that she reacted so strongly, it's like guilty conscience, what? Mm -hmm. Like, what? I literally never I know. Said. You weren't like saying it loudly. Like, that horse is literally needs help. I was just like, oh, poor horse. She's like, why horse? Why horse? And then I was just like, oh my god. So if you're gonna be coming to Central Park, honestly, one of my favorite things to do is just like literally just walk around. You know, there's so many street performers, as you can hear in the background and um, little stalls, and just kind of like letting the day unfold is really the nicest way to experience the park. You don't need to come here with this big itinerary in mind. Just soak up the vibes. Another fun thing to do in Central Park is to look at these uh, dedications on the benches. Tommy loves Julie, Julie loves Tommy. Sometimes, you'll see these really sweet messages and little stories of people's lives and uh oh loris with love of course what else next up another requested activity was to ride the carousel here at central park and uh we'll see if it's open <laughs> the uh theme today has been that things are not available so uh we shall find out I see some people in front let's see I don't see the horses moving though. I love them. Well, because they're probably still getting it. Yay! I think it is yeah. open. Woo! Right. Here we go. Wow! Bye! You never knew what was gonna happen next. Yeah. Would it go up? Would it go down? Would it go around? Do you guys think they're ready? I think they're ready. <laughs> they don't know what's gonna happen. There they are. Looking goofy as ever. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you guys as big as fans? Okay, so we are down two members. We've lost Serge, he had a doctor's appointment, so he had to dip early, and Emily just went on. But three of us left, and we got our tickets, and we're gonna go into the Central Park Zoo. If you didn't know, there's actually a full-fledged zoo in the middle of Central Park. It's really cool, so we're gonna head inside. You guys see anything? Oh, look, oh my god! There's another one. After can we please get some Dippin' Dots? Please. Dippin' Dots don't even taste good. They're just fun to eat. They don't actually taste yes, good. Yes, they, they taste do. so good. The rainbow ones, ones are incredible. incredible. I'd rather have ice cream anytime. Tropic zone. Oh, I think I'm going to be getting really sweaty in here. Well, this is zoo, Sean. So. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, it's very... Ooh. Wow. Okay, it's very warm and humid in here. You know, I'm a sweaty buddy, so... Is it mist or is it just more heat, steam? Oh wow, what's that? I don't know. Ooh. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome. Yeah, it just blinked. It was real. Oh, it's blinking. Ew, this is making me itchy. Look at this pee pop all the way up there. Okay. It's too hot in here. We gotta get out of here. Oh, so cute. 
Well, you know what's gonna make you feel better? <laughs> yeah, let's go. I will continue to roast Dippin' Dippin' Dots suck. <laughs> How are those Dippin' Dots? <laughs> okay, let's see. Wow, looks so appetizing. Mm. <laughs> So we spent a whole day in Central Park. What do we think? As New York City locals, is it worth it? Yeah, it's absolutely worth it. This was actually a really fun day. I do feel like the best moments were the things that were not pre-planned, that just kind of happened, people we ran into, funny little incidents. What was your favorite part of today? Oh, for sure, the Dippin' <laughs> My favorite part of the day was the bubbles. Oh yeah, the bubble man was so cool. Yeah, that was so cool. Shout out to you. My final words to say about Central Park. Is is Mom, <laughs> you let go of your phone, Mommy. I was holding your hand. You were I was holding your hand. Not the phone. Oh my God. <laughs>